Welcome to another video. So today I'll be talking about this Fulcrum Racing Five Disc Brakes. So recently I realized there's some uh there's some rubbing on the front wheel of my Fulcrum Racing Five. So I couldn't really move my wheel after a very rainy ride. So I took apart the bearings and I realized that they were all rusted inside. And it's been less than a year, but I realized that water got into the bearings already. So. Due to the climate in Singapore, you know, it, it, it can rain pretty heavily sometimes. I suspect that actually caused the uh, rainwater to seep through. Although I tried to, you know, clean the wheel before and after the rides, you know. Mm, but w when I took a look at the bearings, I realized uh, something that was... I'm not sure if this is an issue, okay. See that uh, this this side over here, okay, there, there are basically two sides to the hub, so... On the let me get a clear picture. There's okay. So this is basically the front wheel. You can see that there's no free hub body. So you can see that there's something black over here. This this is the part that uh, locks the bearings, everything inside into place. And you can see that there's a cover here. But on the this side, you can see there's just a metal metal piece I took it apart there's just a metal piece there and below that is all the grease so all the all the water got in through here I believe because there's actually a cover on this side don't really know if that matters but you can see that on the back of the free hub body mm. oh look my video is here <laughs> okay there's wait I think I got a picture somewhere around here okay you can see that on the free hub body side, the back of the wheel, there's actually a cover on this side and then also the other side on the cassette. So I'm not sure if that's an issue and uh, that's why actually allowed the rain to go through but uh, lesson I learned is when I hear that the bearings are not that smooth anymore, it's probably time to take it apart and you know, regrease the bearings. And it's quite easy to dismantle the Fulcrum Racing wheel set. You just need a 2 mm, 2.5 millimeter Allen key. You just uh, unscrew this part and then everything will just come apart on its own and you can just regrease the bearing on your side just be careful when you're lifting the bearing seal so okay the bearing seal is something like this let me just okay because the fulcrum racing uses a cartridge bearing so it's very easy to service and apparently these kind of bearings are meant to be you know thrown away so yeah let's just look at this over here so there's a flap over here basically what you do is use a pen knife or something to pry open and regrease everything use a, a brand new set of grease so you need to clean everything inside uh, what I recommend is use degreaser uh, pour it in and then uh, clean it out with water this is the only time you can actually you know clean with a jet spray or something make sure that the bearings are moving fine again there's no rust stuck at the back of the bearing so you don't have to remove your bearings from your wheel to do this and then after that spray some WD-40 to get all the remaining water out that's what I recommend and then regrease the entire thing so if you are using ceramic bearings or what make sure you use grease that is meant for it so I was using normal bearings so I just used the white lightning grease that I used to grease other portions of my bike I used it on my bearings and I realized that um, it still doesn't really run smooth so my bike has been in servicing since last week so they say that these fulcrum bearings are kind of hard to find so probably have to take time to get it out uh, maybe one to two weeks so hopefully I'll get my bike by the end of next week so let me know down in the comments what do you guys think you know whether is this uh, the lack of a cover on this side of the bike uh, design floor because a lot of people are telling me that DT Swiss hubs are very, you know, durable. You don't really have to regrease them much. So, probably gonna consider that. Uh, yep. That's it for my video. If you have any questions, just leave it down below. And thanks for watching.